Right, what's up guys, it's your boy GB here, back with another video for Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Wrath of the Droids DLC. If you want more of this game, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. With that being said, let's do this. Hallelujah! Eivor, I reckon Flan and Barith have found common ground, seeing as you're still here. They have. Ara, and how much of your charm seeped into that conversation? I merely showed the High King I'm a Norse you can trust. It is more than that. You've certainly left your mark here. Sure, I think Flan is fond of you. Flan has ambitions. I am the means to achieving them. That is why I'm here. We need to curry favor with as many kingdoms as we can. Flan said you could help with that. Aye. The kings of Ireland have long sent their grievances to the High King's court in hopes their pleas be heard. Their problems range from petty squabbles to larger issues. I've taken the liberty of sifting through them, choosing the ones that might elicit the best response. I see. The bigger the favor, the bigger the reward. There you have it. Keep an eye out for pigeon coops. That's where I'll leave any noteworthy tasks. Help solve their woes, and the kings will pay tribute with the men and supplies we need to invade Ulster. Show me.
Guards here are vigilant. Be my eyes, Sunan. Lots of plunder here. With the crew's help, we could get it back to the ship. We fight! Some good loot here! Hey, come here a moment! We're done. Let's get back to the ship.
now to get out of here. Stay on my toes.
Let's keep our wits about us. I must be careful now. there. Run up the sail! My 
let them bleed! Right, let's get back to the ship. Missing piece has arrived. Welcome, Avar. Lord, this has the looks of a Norse war camp. Plenty of stout looking men. The fruits of your labors, Avar. The kings you've helped have sent men and more as tribute. You have my thanks. Thank me later. A battle looms. <laughs> True enough. 
Your cousin awaits inside the tent of command. I'll soon follow to plan our next move. Eivor, look at me, part of Flan's war council. Not bad for a viking good, eh? You have gained his trust? I wouldn't say that, no. He's a bit suspicious of me, in fact. But he needs my army, so he holds his nose. Of course he does. Viking smell. My king, we are ready to deliver Alec a weighty blow. But our enemies are now alerted, and will rally in greater numbers. Cashelor Castle divides Ulster and Connacht, taking it would isolate each from each. Cashelor is a stepping stone to all the north. It is an imposing fortress atop a steep cliff. It must be ours. But, for that very reason, Lord, it will cost us dearly to storm it. Loss of men is a price well paid. Victory will bring many more flocking to our cause. Take care, King. Your ambition may overleap your reason. What is your counsel, Eivor? Cunning over courage. A single spy slips in and breaks the gate locks. Then our soldiers flood in. It is worth the attempt. You seem to have a feel for this, Eivor. I select you as this single spy. Eivor? It's a good challenge. We have a scout near the castle. She may be able to help you.
I need your eyes, my friend. Those defenses could stop the guards. Hi, are you Flan Scout? You are a bold adventurer to ask in these parts. Yes, I am. How might I enter the castle? Alone. You can try to climb its walls. A foolhardy move for such a small force. Is there a way to enter unseen? There must be a path below. Builders down there have reinforced the walls. A wily Viking could use their equipment to find a way in. I am that Viking. Now to open the gate for Flan and his army.
Don't Eivor. Cashelor will be ours! Eivor! I have your back! I count on you, cousin! For the taking! Sack the castle! Go witch!
Slaunch To a battle well fought and blood well spilt. To Ireland. Skull! Ah! Another cup, my king? Where's our court poet? This deserves a song. Eivor, it is essential that you speak with her. Gira, is she here? I greeted her arrival. She will build my glory throughout Ireland. Her song will be repeated in every village and hamlet. You, Eivor, with your keen eye, can give details of my bravery. The bravery of all my soldiers, for her to craft a ballad. I will give her your message, O oh brave king. Balith, you deserve another drink. <laughs> and you as well. Come back for another before the night is out. <laughs> then you come at me. Uh. Eyes blazing like hellfire. Have a look, Sunin. What are you doing? <laughs> You sing with conviction. It is the mournful song of the Leofal, the ancient stone you saw at the coronation. That stone, it seemed to... it... The legend is that the stone will bring woe. But the song claims if Ireland came to peril, the stone would rain a storm of wonders. From where would the song draw this wisdom? I do not know, but my mother sang it. My mother's mother sang it as well. And her mother, and hers. Back to the very first woman of the isle. The mere sound of the words connects me to my ancestors and this fertile soil. You're lucky. I've left my land far behind. You need not leave to feel the land change beneath you. That's why I'm stuck in this court like some sort of dancing goat. Surely you can leave any time you wish. I can, and I will. But not until Flan rules all Ireland. Is he such a great man as that? He understands that to be king is to be king of all. Though I'm pagan, he made me court poet. He respects the old ways. I admire your passion. Thank you for that. Not everyone is so appreciative. I appreciate you for all your qualities, Kira. I've got more than a fine voice for singing, if that's what you're asking. Is that what you're asking? I'm asking if you'd like to take advantage of a Norse who finds himself alone with a bewitching Irish woman. Ara, don't you have a way with words, Eivor? And I'm not saying never. I understand. I all but forgot. Flan sent me to remind you to begin his ballad. <laughs> he needn't worry. I know my purpose here. If it is as glorious as that song was lovely... Flan is certain to gain many followers. Good night, Eivor. I'll see you in the morning. Slan. Good night, Kira. A beautiful morning. Barith asked me to return to him last night. I should apologize. Loki. 
Speak, Harson! Who? Th that's the man, my king! You accuse Barrett? Uh, it's him what gave me the poison! Seven silver he paid! Huh. The king of Dublin. M my king, I... I... Only the Irish were poisoned. Your deans are hale and hearty. My lord. Flattering words and servile gifts. All to mask treachery. My lord, you know this cannot be true. Danes don't use poison, and Barath is no man of guile. My king, it was him! He says to me, poison the feckin' Irish, he says. He, he, he threatened me life! Silence! Ah! Ah! Take this man away! No, 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 no. I do nothing! Kira, I chose to place you at my right hand because you see clear. Still, I cannot trust this Dublin Dane. My king, I have faithfully served you. Trust him better, Lord. I said silence. Danes often fight for either side. <sighs> Barth, stay within these castle walls while I consider your position. I must first find care for my soldiers. You well know, my king. I have a friend who can heal most any malady. Ah, one of your scattered coven of forest-dwelling pagans. Let me speak with her. She'll find a cure. Ara, go. Take a soldier with you for protection. I choose you as my soldier. Meet me at the stables near the front gate. Boreth, you should be grateful your head is still upon your shoulders. I am. By the gods, I am. Shenan Ato Adam Ditche are dear. Come, let us find my friend Deirdre. Who is this healer? She is a druid. Wise, despite her youth. Are you ready? I am curious to meet her. Barith. I'm disappointed that Flan even considered the accusation true. The poisoning had two goals. Disable our army and put the blame on Barith. But who is behind it? The soldiers cough blood. It must be the poison used by a druid cult, the children of Thanu. Who are they? When the Christians came with sword and fire, some few druids banded together. Eventually, they vowed to destroy the Christians. They turned to mayhem and murder. Many disguise themselves and live among the villagers. What of Deirdre and druids like her? True druids oppose the Danu, but they are scattered and disorganized. That is why I am so determined to help Flan to the throne as High King of Ireland. He will stamp out the children of Danu, leaving true druids to carry on. Tell me more about your friend. Deirdre is a druid I've known for years. We learned together. You were once a druid? I was. There are many pagans and druids isolated in forests through all Ireland. This way, across the river. This land is unsettling. I'm unsure of the way. Follow the stone path as best you can.
like a wild place. Oh. She is a druid, so a bit... Eccentric. Yes, that's it. Eccentric. Kira, are you ready at last to return to the joys of the forest? Deirdre, this is my friend Eivor. I am sorry to say we've come for help. Fey, Anne. I hoped the auguries were mistaken. Children of Danu? Yes. Flan's army is spitting blood. You know what is needed. I'd hoped you'd find another way. What is this about? The children of Danu make the poison, but they also hold the key to its cure. Amber, made from the sap of an ancient tree sacred to them. Each child of Danu carries a shard of this amber. Once steeped in its owner's blood, the power that is held deep within the amber is set free. This is a somber request. How will I find one of these dark druids? A friend of ours tried to discover the identities that Danu have taken. He hoped to find one called the Wren. Then that friend was killed. The Danu are truly dangerous. You may find something in his abandoned house, up north near Port Orly trading post at the mouth of the Bali Sadir. I will find this Wren, steep the amber in his blood, and return once I've done. I pray the spirits guide you. What do I know of this child of Dano?
not Lends me strength. Let's go, let me king. Give me a hand over here. Sail here. Sail out! Strike up a tune. Sudan.
Survey the area, Sunan. This place is heavily guarded. Oh, I must not lose my way.
Ну, Let the sail out! Sing, my ravens!
Yord to send these sun-bleached bones to the bottom of the sea? Do you have the courage? Salt Lake soldier, you've lived here for some time. I call to Njord, Lord of the Sea, till my throat bleeds with grief. But he only sends fish and other things to sustain me. And now you have come. Why do you complain to Njord like this? And what has it to do with me? I scorned the gods and was pitched into the sea for my arrogance. Thorgest thought me dead and sailed off into legend. The old king of Dublin, that Thorgest. Send me down into Njord's cold embrace. I can't simply give myself to the waves. Will you give me an honorable death? You will sleep with sea serpents this night. I will not make this easy. I must earn this death. I pledge this death to Njord. Your death. Whoever falls first. <laughs> told me I would find peace near the sea. Yet no, another sad survivor of Thorgest's crew still walks. Uh, uh. Hmm, feel stronger already.
We must sail! Got the wind! Have a song. No other man! We will pick up. Let's see you, old friend. Cast about this land, my friend. Stretch your wings, Sunan.
Aid me, be my eyes.
Best raise my hood here. Two of them learned the voice. 
Tell Dia to and Kira, give them the Ambassade's blood. I worried you'd come to harm. I did not, but the wren did. May the wren's blood ooze into the lonely earth and feed the forest with red milk. Give me the shard for the cure. The humors of the ancient tree live on in the amber now sparked by blood. Look, it turns deep crimson. The cure will be painful. The soldiers will writhe and plead to be killed as a mercy. But in a few hours, they will be well. Thank the spirits of the earth. The wren carried a note. A note? The poisoning and the plan to accuse Barith was the doing of someone called the Cursed. There is a cottage in Tuam where the Cursed hides. Perhaps we can find who made the poison there. It is a small hope, but hope still. It is nearby. We must go. Not yet. The cure is prepared. You must deliver it as quickly as you can. I will look for this mysterious cursed. You take the cure to Cashelor. Three or four drops on each soldier. No more. Thank you, good friend. Goodbye. Eivor, I'll meet you under the tree outside Tuam, heading south. The cursed will be your second child of Danu, Eivor. There are others. Were you to bring me all their shards, I could mix you a potion that would give you the first of the blazing sun. I will fell this one. Then I will think on the others and your mysterious son. Before you go, there is a darkness rolling toward Kira. Please watch over her.
Be gentle if they spot me. This is too hard. Look at these cottages. This is where the curse now is. Show me what lies ahead. Do you see, Sunan? Do you see?
let us this late. Feel great. What is the meaning of all this? sacrifice. They will learn no portents from this. What tragedy has befallen you? Oh, thanks be. You're not one of them. One of who? The Danu. Not like any druids I've ever seen before. They grabbed me. And me mates. We got lost in the fog and... Me mates. Keep your wits about you. The High Druid calls herself the Cursed. She sacrificed them bit by bit. You understand? First a hand, then a leg. You should run while you're intact. But first, what is the Cursed planning to do? She dragged old Finton to some ritual. Poor man. I daren't think what's become of him. Save yourself. I will. I'm done with this place. The Lock of Thor be with him. A sacrificial ritual and something about a puka. It is not much, but Kira may know what it means.
Kira said to meet outside the village to the south. Barleth escaped Flan's wrath. He has, and is much relieved. The soldiers are coming back to themselves. What have you learned? The Cursed will perform a sacrificial ritual. Sacrifice? Fae, the Cursed is then a High Druid. I learned that she is. But what does that mean? She wields great power. She will be protected by her acolytes. Not only her acolytes. I also learned the ceremony will be protected by a... What was it? Pook. A puka? That will be dangerous, but we've no choice. The ritual will likely be held at Carnagan. We must look there. What is a puka? A kind of animal? A kind of animal? I will explain on the way. Come. You promised to explain about the puka. Sure. They were once marvelous creatures, able to take the forms of any animal. Now... They're dangerous. This is a jest. Have you no such creatures in Norway? There is Fenrir, wolf to the gods, but he is unusual. Well, pukas are common in Ireland. Pukas? Sacrificial rituals? Is this your world? The children of Danu are an aberration. True pagans oppose them. Flan knows our traditions will disappear without his support. He has pledged not to let that happen. Careful now. Pukas are quick. Search for tracks showing long claws and stay on your guard. There. Tracks. The Puka! Follow it! Looks like a wolf. Because the puka is in the shape of a wolf just now. <laughs> Fog enters into my head. Mine as well. Did the wolf speak?
What in the Nine Realms was that beast? Wished. The ritual has begun. This way. They will attack on sight here. That's the High Druid. The Cursed. <laughs> She will not live to see the rising of the sun. betrayed us. I curse you with all the powers of the moon. Your curses mean nothing. You drew back when we most needed your awful might. And now... 
accursed is dead. She accused you of betraying the children of Danu. I was once one of them. How can this be? Deirdre warned me against them, but back then it seemed the only hope. You knew these people. Why did you not direct me to the Ren? They only wanted to use me. Distrustful and secretive. I never knew their true names or anything about them. A glen of great beauty lies on our road. Find me when you're ready, and I'll confess my errors there. Alright guys, uh, I'm gonna cut the video right here. If you do enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. As always, thank you for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.